All right, guys, thanks for tuning in with Alpine Tap. Today, I'm just going to show our electrical system a little bit more in depth. But once again, I'm not a professional. Please contact one educational purposes only. Um, but as you can see, I'm going to just give you a quick demonstration of the um, converter and show you how we ran all the lines for our uh, trailer. So on the left here, we have the 120 volt um, right where my fingers are, there's going to be some breakouts for some breakers. And then on the right hand side, uh, as you can see, there's the fuses for the DC for the 12 volt. So up top, I have some boards with some 12 volt lights in, um, looks good and, you know, very efficient and doesn't use much, uh, power. So that was really, if I'm just getting into the trailer and I need to see, and then on the back wall here, I'm going to have, um, some lights and I'm gonna have some regular um, outlets uh, running off 120. So right here, I'm just pulling up the actual uh, shoreline, which is the power coming into the trailer from a generator. And this is the plug that I got from Amazon. So there's the ground, the neutral, and the hot. Pretty easy to set up. All right, so I got the shoreline power coming in from the left and then the right were actually already connected from the converter when I got it. And then here you can see I'm gonna be putting in the main breaker. So you gotta take off that a little metal clip that protects it and locks it in. So right here, just getting a little organized with the wires and then you're gonna have to put your hot wire into that pigtail and then put the power into the bottom of the breaker, which very simple as you can see I'm doing here. Also too, make sure you have a screwdriver with the right um, bit because as you can see, I only had my impact with the correct bit. So unfortunately I had to use that, which not the best or ideal I should say. So I'm connecting it in and then on the back there's a little space that you can kind of just pop that breaker in on that bar. So once you actually have power in on that bar, it is going to provide it all the way down that metal bar, as you can see, kind of the right of the breaker. And what that's going to do is give the other breakers power. So if the main breaker's off, the other ones don't right here, power. I'm going to put two more breakers in, run outlets, just depending on what we decide to do. Have it mounted in to here. Does have all these wires on the back here. This red one is going to go to the actual um, battery back here. This white one, I did have to get a separate bus bar. So I put that down here. Um, so I have my negative, which is this black wire. The white wire is connected to the top to red wires. So that's why I have this red tape over it. And it's going into this hot brown. So multiple different colors, but just make sure you keep it straight. So negative here negative from the converter and then the battery is going to go in here and then the battery is going to be connected to here so then that would complete my full dc if i want to add i'm going to add probably one more dc on here to where i'm probably just going to put either a usb up here or a usb in this cabinetry that i'm building so here just getting the wires reorganized um they are 12 gauge, so they are a little bit hard to manipulate in this little box. So I am just uh, getting everything cleaned up and then I'm gonna add in two more breakers. All right, so I just finished up cleaning up the wires, getting them a little more organized on the main breaker and from the actual uh, converter itself that are already in there. 
here I uh, busted out a couple of knockouts pulled in some more MC that you know metal clad wire and uh, on the 90 degree connector it does have a lock nut so I am just locking it in makes it really nice and easy and also these new wires that are coming in I'm gonna run them to each side of the trailer um, so I can have outlets on each side running off each breaker So I'm going to get these in, these in, with two more breakers, um, and then i got to get the boxes out here set, but that's how it's going to look. Also, too, I do believe I need to run a ground out here to ground it to the trailer. So once you get all the wires in on the back of the breaker, there's this little slot um, right here. You're going to be able to just push it into that bar. As you can see, there's those little metal pieces that come out that connect it into the actual entire bar. And you're going to see right here, I'm just going to click it in. It's going to lock it in. And then now I'm just tightening up the last breaker here, and I'm going to do the same thing. Going to push it in onto that bar. So I got my 30 amp main breaker coming in, shore power, and I got my two branch circuits coming off of it. Um, I got 20 amps and 20 amps, just because I don't really know what I'm going to be running with this trailer. Um, we may be doing like espresso. Um, to where you got to run a coffee, like an espresso machine, blender, da 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 da. So, this wire was technically already attached up here. I just moved it down here to clean it up. This one was attached, and then I took the black wire from the converter up into there. So, and then I locked, then you lock this in the place, and then at that point, you just run in your shore power neutral, your brand, your other uh, circuit and then your other circuit here. So for this one and then this one, and then I have the hot going into those, ground going over here, and then I grounded the entire thing off that ground chassis, just ran it out the back, right down here. So the whole thing is just grounded to the trailer. So right here, this is actually going to be my DC wires. So this is running to my ceiling to my 12 volt lights. So inside of that MC wire, I just have a white and a black. The white wire is actually my positive and the black is going to be my negative. So as you can see on the back here, very easy instructions on this dimmable uh, light switch that I got off of Amazon. You're just going to push them in, tighten them down. Um, very simple. So this right here is the dimmable uh, 12 volt. And then this right here is going to be one of the branch circuits running under to one of my outlets. As you can see here, 
and just put in a GFCI here. And then here is another one that I ran underneath to a GFCI, which then ran up to a dimmable light switch right above it. All right, so here is the shore power plug that I was showing you in the beginning of the video. Very simple, just plug in an extension cord or a generator. So as you can see, fans on, keeping this cool. Got these down here. And as you can see right here, it gives you the, gives you the colors all the way up and down the side. Makes it super easy. And then you can write it right here too. So. And then as you can see, max fuse size up there probably should have a little bit bigger one than that but and then turn these on what was that now i have these lights dimmable as well So as you can see, got my battery down here, turning off the red wire down to the positive, and then that negative is running over there to that negative bus bar. And then everything else is just dead at this point. 